Now you gotta be careful with these because they are brittle. And I don't know if we replace this or not. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Bilsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome back to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Fergie Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, I'm going to remove this dash pad on this uh, on my truck here, which is you know I'm gonna remove my dash pad here on my truck, which you know the is the uh, 1987 Chevy square body R10. Captain. So I'm gonna remove this because I want to check out what kind of speakers are behind this dash and I want to maybe uh, Yeah, just do that. We'll get it apart here and we'll see what's what and go from there I shouldn't order gray carpet should order blue carpet now. I'm into everything. Everything is blue in here Why would I order gray carpet? Frig. What if I can cancel that order and order blue carpet? But blue on blue. It's a little blue. Let's see. We're gonna leave it for now. We'll go from there here. But first thing you wanna do is get comfortable as you can without no seats. Because that's the way we are. And we wanna remove this cluster here first, which is a bunch of friggin' star handle screwdrivers, it is. So we'll just start hammering the stars out of it and see if we can't get it off. Now it is kind of nice if you have like a tilt steering or some kind of thing like that on these trucks, because then you can get the steering out of the way, but heck. Why even worry about it? That's what I say. Probably have to remove that head unit, but we'll have to see. I found a comfortable spot I did. So just remember, these four screws at the bottom here come out, and then that piece should, you know, just get right out of the way. Like, just literally jumped right out of the way. And then we'll take more screws over here. Perfect. And so on and so forth, and just keep on friggin' rocking it. Careful. Easy. They're out. This should be kind of loose now, except for where the head unit is. So I'll have to get the head unit out of here. So let's do that right now. I don't have any keys, so hopefully it's not too stuck in here. Nope, she'll come right out, Jim. We'll slide this thing out, we'll unplug her like that. We'll set it aside. And then we'll see how this was mounted in. There's another screw down here. Let's get that out of there. Carol, there we go. That's definitely an oddball. This should come out. Yep, there it goes that out of the way like that and then we got another screw right here so there we go now we should be able to turn the key on slap her oh careful slap her neutral and slide this right out of there somehow let's slide this little rubber thing up and now we'll slide her out of there right all in how you hold the tongue jim pretty right it is see careful there we go I made that look easy, didn't I? We'll have to uh, find a better ground than that when we put this back together. There we go. I shall leave the ground on there because that's what I do. Decent. So that's out of the way. If you're wondering what that noise is in the background, don't worry about it. It's just the uh, the old heater. It's a little cold out here. It is. Oh, look at that. The brake light's all dicked. Frig. I have to get ourselves a little cluster of gauges. What do you think about that? Am I even recording? Thank God. Yeah, we might have to get ourselves a little glade, the little cluster thing in the bobber. So now that that's off, we can take out the seven mils along the dash here, and that should uh, be pretty close to releasing the old dash pad, I think. It's been a long time since I watched a YouTube video on this, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. One, careful, that one's missing. Two, careful, 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 what the so they're out. Put this thing back in park. It's probably just rolled against the garage door. You watch. Let me go look. No, we're good. We still have miles. So now that's off, we should be able to just kind of wiggle this thing right out of there. Jim, as you can see, are you watching? Of course you are, because you want to know this stuff for some reason. Might have to open up that other door over there, I'm thinking. Maybe. What's going on over here? Oh yeah. Oh, we haven't got much room. I don't want to. Oh, don't tell me that's a screw. Oh, it is. Why, Frank? Well, you see, this is not going to work. Please fit. No, we are working within tight quarters on this side, just because I got the truck more over this way in the garage. That way you can get in and out. But now, of course, this thing there's a screw in the side. So we'll just ratchet it out because you know that's what I do. Why wouldn't 
way. Of course it's going to be tight all the way because I can't get to it. Why wouldn't it? Oh god. Something's happening. Maybe not. Let me get that lucky. If I drop that thing one more time. Come on, baby. Get the f out. All right, there we go. It's out. So now we should be able to just kind of give that a little yank and away she goes. So now that's not that, we'll just lift her up and get her out of here. As soon as I turn the thing back into neutral for a second here. Now you gotta be careful with these because they are brittle. And I don't know if I'm replacing this or not. Just be gentle, Captain. There's one crack on this right here. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna fix it or throw it. We'll put that in the back of the truck for now. And there's our dash. And does it ever look dicked? Oh boy, is that dirty. So see, she's got a big speaker up here. And she got nothing there, nothing there. So we're gonna maybe mount a couple speakers up here. Maybe even a couple center channels, but that one's got to go because it's it's dicked. Look at it. So let's get that out of there right now. I'm not even gonna fool around. It's just coming out now. And when you're doing this, just make sure you don't hit your windshield or anything like that. And then you know you put a new windshield in your truck, and that's no fun. And actually, the bottom of the windshield is leaking right over there. I can see it. So that's probably where our water's coming from down there. Oh yeah, look, you can see the water running right down. She's not sealed, Captain. I'll have to seal up that windshield. Oh, dick. Why wouldn't it be leaking? Leaking good too. Do you believe me? I would. So there we go, we got that off. So we can take this speaker out. And it's not even hooked up, so there you go. See, that was easy. So, yes. Oh. 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 I think she's rotten, Gavin. So we got that speaker out. So I'll have to get another speaker for there. Maybe even give the dash another touch up of a different color or something, maybe. I doubt it, but I'm just saying. Might move this too, to somewhere other than that. Maybe in the ashtray area because I don't smoke, so we'll slide that out and maybe put the brake controller right in there. Get it out of there, because I don't really care for it right where it is there, I'll be honest with you. So I might do that. Got a little mouse or something up here around the vent number we did. Doing a little chewy action. So I'll get that all sucked out. And then we'll maybe get some more of these little dummy lights or remove that cluster right out of there. And you know, maybe we do her. Look at that spring. Having some oil. It's gonna bust soon. I can see it coming. Frank. And then of course we gotta fix this because it don't return when you turn a corner and it's kind of dicked over too. So we'll order a new one of them. Maybe we'll just order a whole new tilt steering wheel. Leave a comment down below if you have a tilt steering wheel that you want to send me for free. Hey, leave a comment down below if you want me to support your company and you can send me a gauge cluster and I'll show you out on a video. What do you think of that? I think that's a great idea, but I don't think you're gonna do it because why would you? If we don't put a gauge cluster, I'm definitely gonna have to replace these things. I'm pretty sure I can get them from somewhere or I'll just make them. But wow, she dirty up in there, she is. But that was pretty easy. So anyways, I just wanted to show you a video on how to remove your dash pad on your square body pickup truck, and that's how you do it. Not much to it. There really isn't. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. Welcome any new subscribers to the channel. Until the next one, love you all. And you know what to do for now.